I found this mason jar decor in my craft stash. I believe it came from Dollar General and I'm just going to deconstruct it a little bit. You can also sometimes find these at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to pop off the top metal rim here and just set it to the side to use again later. I'm going to paint it with some Wise Owl white primer and when that fully dried, I then did a coat of some Wise Owl Snow Owl. I will be using four different paint colors in this project. The first one is the white. Then I have some atomic blue here. I'm going to mix a little bit of white with the atomic blue for my second paint color. And then my third paint color, I will do the same, but I will not put as much white as the other mixture as I do want this a shade darker. And then the fourth paint color will be the atomic blue. I'm going to tape off the top rim here as I do not need to paint that. And then starting at the bottom, I'm going to lay my painter's tape across the mason jar horizontally. I'm going to be using some painter's tape as a spacer. I'm going to go up until I reach the rim of the mason jar and I can actually move that top piece of tape down a little bit. I'm going to take my first mixture here in a foam dabber and I'm just going to dab on the exposed areas and then I will lift the tape. Now I had three pieces of horizontal tape here that I was supposed to remove. I forgot to remove the top horizontal piece, so just keep that in mind. I did catch it, so I was able to save the project. Now I'm going to lay my painter's tape vertically. You wanna make sure all the paint is dry before laying your tape back down. And I'm going to cover over it with my second mixture. Now this is where I noticed I did not lift that third horizontal piece, so I was able to remove it and finish off the vertical sections that need to be covered. Now this time you're not gonna remove any painter's tape. I'm going to allow everything to fully dry, and then I'm gonna lay painter's tape horizontally going back down the mason jar. So now I have painter's tape both horizontally and vertically on my mason jar. I'm then going to take the atomic blue and cover all the exposed areas. Once everything is fully covered, I'm then going to lift up all of my painter's tape. And as I lift it, you could see that we've created this very easy buffalo check fall pattern. Next, I have this leaf. I'm going to paint with some Wise Owl Fireside. The leaf came from Hobby Lobby. Now you could pick any colors to use on this project. I have a burlap leaf here that I'm just going to glue behind my wood leaf so that you could see the burlap in the cutout areas. So I just trim that up so that it can hide right behind the leaf here and I'm going to glue that in place. I'm going to have the leaf hanging on the side of the mason jar and I glued that in place. And now you can give this a light sanding. If you want to make it a little more distressed, especially if you get some bleeding, you can certainly sand it as much as you want. I'm going to remove the sanding dust and I'm going to glue my metal rim at the top of the mason jar here. I'm going to add some hot glue and some jute to that extra area of just the white paint and I'm wrapping that around a few times and then I will tie a knot on the back side. I made a little bow using some raffia and I'm going to glue that at the end of the leaf stem. I then have some artificial greenery. This came from the Dollar Tree. I needed two bundles and I'm going to just staple that on the back side now when you use your stapler, make sure that you're doing it in an area where you know the staple will not go through the front of your project. And then I have this gnome that I found at the Dollar General, and I'm going to put it on the right side here. And there you go. Now we just have this really cute fall buffalo check mason jar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.